Welcome to Data Catch Up YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more empowering data science videos. How machine learning will predict the unknown. Machine learning has become an integral part of development in all sectors, industry, and you need to know how this trajectory will predict the unknown. What kind of problem is machine learning designed to solve? And are there times when machine learning isn't the right method for prediction? Machine learning is used for prediction. It could also be used to dif for different types of problems. The main criteria about what type of problem you can easily solve with it has to do with what kind of data you have around that problem. Any problem where there is really clear output that you want, that you know what it is, it's well defined and you feel like you have enough input of, what set, of whatever sorts to help you learn it as a problem that is really well suited to machine learning. Also, other methods of research you might call by different names. You might say, I'm using statistics, I'm doing the regression. But to my mind, that falls under the heading of machine learning as it is used broadly today. It's not like machine learning is this new thing, but it's mathematical methods to derive relationships between input and output data can be learned from the data. It's generally the same as statistical methods. There's not this really sharp division between new style, what people call machine learning, versus mathematical methods that have been around forever, that have been accelerated by current computer technology. Obviously, but are still fundamentally the same kind of methods. People develop new algorithms and have breakthroughs, but it's always that you're optimizing, optimizing algorithms, you're solving for functions. It's not a different kind of thing. The power there, the reason it's new and shiny and the hot topic is just that now you can have computers crunch giant data sets and learn what seems like more magical kind of outputs to humans because of the power of being able to learn simultaneously from all this data. Will Google and Facebook always have an advantage due to the size of their data sets? Or is a more specialized data set also relevant here? They, de they definitely have large advantages. It may also depend on the problem you're tackling. I can imagine collecting a bunch of data in a specific domain that people aren't looking at right now and having advantage in that domain. If you're trying to do a lot of standard traditional things that people are interested in doing right now with a kind of internet user data, the guys with the, the internet users will win that game, at least for the time being. But there will always be a new company that will be a threat to these guys. It's the cycle of companies becoming dominant in some field and then getting challenged by newer companies. Talk about issues of classifying data and coming across errors. Data cleaning and data wrangling as the first step doing any of this stuff is a giant part of this field. There's almost never not errors in your data. It would be really hard to not have an misleading thing. Sometimes there are systematic errors or systematic biases. For example, all your users are from one demographic and now you learned about something, but it's not applicable to other demographics. Just knowing what you're going for and looking at your data in a principled way and seeing if it is going to be able to predict that, that without flaws and biases is obviously a big problem. In the tech community about 10 years ago, there was a glitch, not always true, that everyone was a college dropout, but it seems like machine learning is really driven by academics. It is largely an academic field. The breakthroughs and needs are usually very serious math optimization kind of stuff. Which is not to say there are, they aren't self-taught people, but it's really more academic than the recent tech booms in general. It is also getting democratized fast. There are so many new libraries and tools and plug and play out of the box will run this tool. It leads to the problem of people using algorithms that they don't really understand what's going on underneath. They are just like, oh, I heard this one works, let's try that one out. I'm not really understanding, which could be okay or could lead to more problems like we are just discussing. I come from an academic background. 
I have a master's degree in computer and information science. There's a certain flavor to academia that, that I guess is driving the really hardcore machine learning community. Actually, there is a movement where a lot of frontier machine learning research is leaving academia and going to the big companies. Facebook and Google are harnessing a lot of academics to this work. Maybe that culture comes over to industry. There is a lot of cross-pollination. What are some common misperceptions about machine learning? There is always an air of mystery because, in reality, even for us programmers, a lot of these algorithms are black boxes. There is not a lot of insight into what's going on in them. It's not all confusing that people get confused about what's happening because sometimes it's really not obvious. The biggest popular misconception, I think, is these things are going to overtake humans any moment now, which is not realistic at all. Yes, they will overtake us in specific domains, but it's not anything close to general intelligence, general cognition. Like most other technologies, there is always a general misconception of, oh, it's magic. But that's just because it's generally hard to grasp how these things work. By specific domains, do you mean the context? IBM hypes that it's Walton can win Joe Paddy. But if I want Watson to come have a dinner conversation, is that going to go well as well? I can train a machine to beat me at chess or at driving my car down the street. But that same machine is going to be in it at other things. It's also going to be in it at 10 million other things that humans can do easily that babies can do. Some AI researchers are, legit are legitimately trying to configure out how you would get a machine that learn like a human child. But in general, most of the work I need, most of the work is, I need this very specific thing that just does this one thing. And I'm going through all the data in the world that I can get my hands on at it. At the end, I'll be pretty good that one thing, if we have the right data, but it's not conceiving of the problem the way a human would. It's also not really solving the problem in the way a human would. And there's just not a lot of direction correlation here. In summary, machine learning would be a great development that will foster growth and prediction for uncertainties. Why becoming a part of our daily application on task? If you find this video interesting, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tech videos.